Hey everyone, uh, first things first, I'm using a new microphone in this video, so hopefully the audio is a little bit better than the standard GoPro audio. Um, if it's not, I apologize, but this is the first video I've ever made with it, and I haven't played around with it before, so we're just gonna see how it is. Um, so I haven't made a video in a little while, and I kind of wanted to talk about why. Um, basically, the car's not running very well. Um, it hasn't been running great the entire summer just because it needs a tune really, really badly. I have ordered the Bitronic tuning software, and I got uh, a remote tune from Sneed Speed. Um, but the problem is the Bitronic is still on back order. It has been for the past, like, three months. And uh, there's kind of no hope in sight, to be honest. Um, so for that reason, I haven't really done a whole lot to the car uh, as far as modifications. I really just need the tuner to come in to kind of tie everything together that we've done so far. Right now, uh, it's just not that fun to drive. The throttle response is horrible. It makes no power down low. I mean, under three grand, if you floor it, you will see a black, rich cloud of smoke come out the exhaust. Um, it's just not, uh, it's not running the way that it should be, and it's not super fun to drive. Uh, I bought a motorcycle in February, as some of you might might have seen. Um, that's kind of kept me occupied this entire summer. I've used that mostly for transportation and uh, kind of drove the Mini when it's raining or when it's cold out. Um, I wish that I've been able to drive it more, uh, but honestly, in just the state of the tune right now, it's kind of hard to do anything with it. Um, but right now, I just want to talk about what we have done this summer. Um, it's mainly been maintenance items and fixing a couple things. I got big tires, as most of you saw. Uh, so let's talk about that a little bit. Okay, so I apologize for the car being absolutely filthy right now. Uh, I just got back from Ocean City, Maryland. I was there for H2O. Uh, it's the fourth year that I went and it gets crazier every year, so what a good time that was. All right, so let's talk about these tires first. Um, obviously, they're extremely wide. They are 235 by 50 by 15. Uh, they're Toyo Proxy R888s. I'm sure you guys are familiar with these tires. They're super popular. They're awesome tires. Um, and actually, the only tire that's available in this size right now. All right, so what did we have to do to get them to fit? Um, well, obviously, as you can see, they do stick out a little bit. Um, we had to raise the car quite a bit from where it was before. Um, I'm still rubbing quite a bit, as you can see, but that's, uh, it doesn't really bother me. I mean, the more it rubs, the more clearance that I get, so I just kind of deal with that. Um, not a huge issue. It's not really cutting into the tire very much, so that's okay. Uh, we're running five millimeter spacers in the rear to clear the suspension on the inside. That seems to be all we really needed in the back, um, but up front, we had to switch to 12 millimeter spacers, um, and that's with a, a 35 offset wheel, uh, both front and rear. So they are sticking out a little bit, but nothing too crazy. Um, the biggest thing we had to do with the front here, I'll show you, is remove the fender liners, which actually looks kind of cool. Um, but you do get a lot of debris and gravel kind of kicking up. You can see how dirty it is up in here. Just something you gotta kind of deal with. Um, there really wasn't a whole lot of options there unless we wanted to really cut it up. So I'm close to the coil over there, but not super close. I mean, that's plenty of distance. Um, I don't rub at all, even at full lock, so it is pretty functional. Okay, one thing that we've had to repair this year uh, was this axle right here. Uh, the boot was leaking, and then a buddy of mine replaced it. Uh, very shortly after that, it started leaking again, so we had to replace it for the second time. Um, but that's been good for the whole summer, so I think we're okay there. Can't see anything here, but we actually replaced all of the lifters. Um, you might recall I've been complaining about a really loud ticking noise that I would get on startup. It would go away eventually, but it would still be there if you really listened hard enough. Um, that got so annoying, you know, not being able to start it and, and have it be quiet, uh, that we just went ahead and replaced all of the lifters um, and both rocker shafts, intake and exhaust. That completely cleared up the noise. So if you are having the same kind of problem and you've already done like your timing chain tensioner, um, you know, because that's pretty common and it's still making noise, I would definitely recommend redoing the lifters. It runs a lot smoother now, so no complaints there. Kind of see how it looks on the side with no uh, fender liner. Looks kind of neat. All 
All right, the interior is still the same as you saw it in the last video. Um, again, really dirty because I just came back from H2O, but tr please try to forgive me for that. Um, the Corbu seats have been holding up really well. I got them in suede, so I was a little bit nervous at first, but uh, they're definitely standing the test of time. I would highly recommend these seats. I've gone to Ocean City three times there and back, so long road trips, uh, they're just fine. The harnesses wear you out a little bit just from being strapped in so tight, but the seats themselves are great. Um, all right, let's go to the rear. Exhaust is still exactly the same. Uh, my flex pipe is leaking again. Uh, I've got the Megan header, as you might remember, and those flex pipes always break. Um, but we actually cut it out and then replaced it with a vibrant flex section and made it a little bit lower um, on the exhaust so it didn't move as much. But still, that ripped after you know one summer, so we're gonna have to come up with something else for that. Still the two and a half inch. Uh, test pipe from Filthy Habits, two and a half inch straight midsection, and then it kind of splits here into this two and a half inch uh, double resonated section. All built by Jason at Filthy Habits Fabrication. Sounds awesome. Welds are great. Top notch work from that guy. Okay, same bolt-in cage built by Jason at Filthy Habits Fabrications. Um, as you can see, each of the joints are actually TIG welded. Um, but you have these aircraft grade locking joints down here um, and some sandwich plates that are welded to the floor. So it is removable if you need to. Um, it doesn't come out super easily. You do have to take the seats out in order to get it out. So probably not gonna do it very often, but if you needed to remove it, you could. Um, if I was gonna do it over again, I'd probably just do a full welded in cage because I don't really ever see myself taking this out. But um, these aircraft locking grade joints are very safe. So I'm really not worried about it. All right, I think that's it for all of the changes that have been made since the last walk around video. Again, it really isn't a whole lot. Um, we just had to make repairs this summer and kind of just wait for that tuner to come in. Um, hopefully it comes in before the end of the season because I would love to make a video just kind of demonstrating it and showing the changes that it's made. Um, but right now I'm gonna turn the car on and kind of give you a little sample of how horrible this throttle response is. Um, and I'll take it for a little ride and hopefully you'll be able to kind of tell on camera how choppy it is and how unresponsive it is. Is. Uh, we'll see. So for now, let's start it up. All right, I'm gonna go blip the throttle a couple times. Uh, you're hearing my heat shield rattle. That's another problem I'm having right now. Uh, but let's blip the throttle and see if you can kind of tell how horrible this is. So I'm gonna floor it. It's revving up to under two grand right now. I'm flooring it. Listen to how choppy that is. That was to the floor. Okay. I'm going to go hook up this uh, camera to this mount right here and I'll take it for a little ride. I wish the tuner would have came in the week after I ordered it, but it just didn't. 
Um, like I said, I'm like three months into waiting now, so as soon as it comes in, I'll get a tune on this thing. It should be running well, and I can keep making videos. Um, but for now, I just kind of have to improvise. Uh, I had some of those BMX videos up and some motorcycle videos. I know that's not why you guys subscribe. That's not my normal content, but uh, I just like to put something up rather than nothing. Um, so hopefully this will kind of clear up what's going on. Yeah, and I'll keep making videos as soon as this thing is running well again. So thanks for subscribing and keep on watching the videos. Thank you.